Hi everyone, this is another video for Render Geometry Node Beginner. So we're going to use the Geometry Node to create some uh, firecrackers like this. Just easy and simple. You just drag and uh, you have it. So simple, so easy, and so beautiful, right? And uh, you can use this technique uh, to create another thing similar like leaves, like flowers, something, etc. So, let's get started. Okay, this thing I prepared uh, for you is a uh, have a cracker for left side and the cracker for right side this is for the instance object and this top uh, terminal is um, another instance object as well and now uh, with first uh, things we got to do is uh, create a basic curve shift a curve Bezier. So we got a Bezier curve in the center of the thing, and uh, we click New in the Geometry Editor. So next thing, we can need a Curve to Mesh node search Curve to Mesh. Okay. Then we need a profile, so I need to use the circle, curve circle, curve circle. All right. And, and uh, we need to adjust a little bit the, the radius. I need I give it a 0 0.1 for now. And uh, next step. Uh, press uh, tab and uh, you click draw and uh, you'll be able to draw a line draw a line like this and for now I close this uh, Shoe overs, so it's better. It's much clean. And now, the next step, I need to put the crackers on this line. So I need another instance on port. Inst On point. Curve to point. And uh, we drag the left side, left side object here geometry to instance and I click separate children reset children and the instance we're gonna merge it to this geometry so we need another join geometry instance to geometry geometry to geometry and a mesh to geometry okay now we had some scraggers online but it is not enough because we have just a three point on this curve so we need to add more curve on the curves uh, we need to add more points on curves right so now we add another node called uh, resample the sample curves it will add 
much more points on the curve as you want and uh, we change the change it here to lens so we use the lens to determine how many points on the curves so the lens will give you uh, 3.3 oh I just I just adjust it like that maybe one okay so 0 0.8 for now just give you 0.8 for now okay so this side we got this and the next step let's just uh, give him a good position here we need to adjust a little bit of rotation so like here in y-axis make the uh, here like so okay great Now, if we want, to just control the uh, some some place we didn't want to have the crackers like uh, the the, clo the place uh, close to the start point and uh, close to the end point. Here, we do I don't want to have some crackers here, so we need another node to get rid of the crackers on this place I use I can use the uh, color to ramp color color ramp color ramp and uh, spline curve Parameter and connect factor to factor and the color to selection. Okay, now we're going to be able to reduce some crackers on two sides of the line. So if we drag here you're gonna be able to reduce here and for other end I just here and then we add another point give him black okay so like so so we're gonna be able to control how much cracker in the two side for now I keep like this and next I just copy all of this and uh, create click shift D and the copy all of this and uh, here I change to right BP right is me another this one it's gonna be selected for another side it will create now if we c connect here to here it will connect, it will create uh, another uh, another side create the cracks for another side so we just connect here now we can uh, we have the crackers for another side of the line and uh, we need to just uh, 
a chance to look at this here a rotation we have a good result For now, we have it, but it looks not so nice. It's not too regular. The 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 crack cracks the fire cracks is too regular. So I want add some. I want I I want to make some random for the rotation to make it natural. So next, we add a random random value. We are gonna add some random value to the rotation of the firecrackers. Is it gonna look more natural? So here we change to vector because uh, the rotation is x, y, z. It's a vector. So here we connect the value to here so in the viewport we're gonna see or see already changed but uh, for me i prefer make it zero for now and uh, i change in give the in the y-axis like that minimum one eight others a little bit bigger and uh, in the y-axis I just uh, make it uh, uh, negative value make the, the rotator in front of the camera and another is just a, a little bit another positive uh, value so make it like a cover another another angle like this see see okay here it's like this For now again okay. I decrease a little bit of this so this side is just like this for now and then we just uh, copy this to another side shift D here and uh, we can even clear this value done okay so click here clear here connect value for another side and uh, for y-axis this and mark a little, little bigger lower and for the z like this and maybe give it another side this is positive all right that's great so we have it for now we have the fireworkers and the next thing we add we need to add is uh, the terminal on top of the on top of the string to make it uh, more beautiful so next thing we were going to need another uh, instance on so curve shift a instance on points sorry and uh, we need another node called uh, curve it's called the uh, curve ending selection ending point selection and the way connect selection to this selection and here we connect geometry to here 
and we select this terminal collection drag it to the here and check check this to connect to instance now we can merge this object together connect to John geometry all right you get the two hexagon at the two end of the line so when you just get rid of uh, one at the end side I just keep here zero so another one just disappeared so it's looking good and then we need if I run I just uh, give some adjustment here make the fireworks uh, 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 get more fireworks uh, at this place so we adjust a little bit here okay it's this side yes and uh, here same thing Right, so that's it. There we already have this. And now, if you draw in the same, yes, you get five workers, and you can use this technique to create another kind of uh, object similar, like uh, flowers, uh, leaves. Yeah, so that's it. Thank you for watching.